Unit 4, Part A. Listen to the following text and answer the questions that follow. Azizul Hasni Awang is the rising star in track cycling in Malaysia. In February 2011, Azizul made it to the final round at the Manchester World Cup. Unfortunately, he could not secure a gold medal due to a crash of a few riders, allowing Sir Chris Hoy, the British cycling legend, to win the event. The crash caused a splinter from the track to pierce through Azizul's scarf and it was a horrific sight. Incredibly, the man himself was not disturbed. He stood up, picked up his bike and raced to the finish line to secure him third spot before collapsing in pain. The entire incident lasted 10 seconds. But at that time, Azizul showed more grit, determination and desire than anyone could have expected of him. It was indeed an intense moment that gripped everyone's attention. A few months later, during a motivational talk, Azizul recalled how, during his early school days, even his former coach said that he will never make it far due to his small size as compared to his peers who were more physically built. He was constantly looked down because of his small build, which fueled him to prove that his size is not a limitation. Hence, he sacrificed most of his younger days to train and work hard just to prove the people wrong. He is truly inspiring. As to be great, one must be ready to make sacrifices. You can be lonely at times, but the fruit is sweet. Pursue your passion at 110% because you won't regret going after what you really want in life. Unit 4 Part B Listen to the following text and answer the questions that follow. Shoe lovers definitely have heard of the man behind one of the most luxurious footwear brands in the world, Jimmy Choo. He was born in 1961 in Georgetown, Penang, Malaysia. When Chu was a child, he had occupied himself in the art of shoemaking. The credit goes to his father who taught him the craft and skill of shoemaking. By the age of 11, Chu made his first pair of shoes. In the early 1980s, Chu decided to further his studies and made his way to England to pursue footwear and shoe designing at a technical college in Hackney. In order to pay for his education, Chu took up several part-time jobs at restaurants and worked as a cleaner at a shoe factory. In 1986, after graduating, he started to work at a shop in Hackney, which he opened by renting an old hospital building. His turning point was when his creation became featured in Vogue magazine in the 1988 issue. Even the late Princess Diana of Wales took notice of his work around 1990 and soon became his loyal customer. Chu's creation is now recognized worldwide by well-known public figures such as Michelle Obama and Beyonce. The Chu brand has also expanded to handbags and other accessories. Jimmy Chu believes that a good pair of shoes is designed with strong foundation. Thus, we should apply this principle in our daily life. Even in entrepreneurship, it helps to first have a firm stand on your principles, beliefs and objectives. Hence, when hardship comes, your foundation is strong enough to keep you strong along the way.